The Magma Worm fight can be pretty tough. Most people are going to be doing this probably a little early they, than they should in order to get the Moon Veil Katana. But I'm going to walk you through what worked for me during this video. First off, sometimes you sort of see him raise up while he gets fire in his mouth and then he's going to charge forward. He may even turn around and do this a couple times in a row. So during this phase, he's going to spit magma all over the floor and all you really want to do is wait for this to stop and stay clear of the magma and wait for the magma to clear. During this part, you're going to be really defensive and you're just going to try and stay alive and not worry about dealing damage. Also, sometimes he'll sort of raise up again and get fire in his throat. He raises his head a lot higher when he does this and he's going to shoot a fireball at you. You want to be ready to dodge this. It's pretty easy to read. If you see him raise up with fire in his throat, he's either going to charge you or shoot a fireball. So in either case, you're going to be dodging to the side to get the hell out of the way. In order to get near him, you usually have to roll through a big wind-up attack. So make sure you're ready to do that. Make sure you don't roll too early because they do have a very long wind-up. Get near his back legs and start attacking. And really what you need to do and what you need to pay attention for when you get there is for any time he does sort of any animation, get ready to dodge. Usually he'll do like a slam, which you can dodge. And then there's also like a tail whip he'll do like a lot of the dragons in the game. And you need to be on the lookout for that tail whip. It has a really, really long windup, so you should be able to tell it's coming. You usually only get in about two or three, maybe four attacks at most before you have to dodge for quite a while. So be patient with this fight. Don't try and be hyper aggressive or it'll get you killed. And make sure you keep your health topped up because a lot of these attacks are one shots if you get in the wrong place. Another thing you want to be on the lookout for is sometimes he'll lift up and breathe lava on his side, like back behind him a little ways. He can do this on either side of him, so it doesn't matter which side you stand on. But if he breathes fire on the side that you're on, you need to get the hell out of there real quick. But if he breathes fire on the other side, this is a fantastic opportunity to get in some shots while he's stuck in that animation. You can see I make a lot of mistakes during this video, and I'm still able to get him down at my level, which is probably a little bit lower than you would normally be when you get here, just by keeping my health topped up and not being too greedy. I misread some of the attacks, but even misreading some of them, as long as you have enough potions to keep your health up and you don't get in a bad spot with the magma, you're usually okay.